All right, here's a loaded question. What size wingboard is right for you? All right, let's take a look at learning timelines, the surfboard mistake, and getting over it. So I was on the line this morning with a customer uh, looking for wingboard size. He was uh, right about 190 pounds, which is about, I think, 86 kilograms, which would put him right at, um, uh, the 20% rule would suggest he should be looking at a board around 105 liters. And, um, of course, this is another conversation where people are trying to size down and go as small as they possibly can right out of the gate. And he wanted to look at something around the 90 liter mark, which is about 17% less than where the 20 liter rule would put him at about 105 liters. So I tried to, you know, tell this guy and talk him off the ledge, if you will. It's like, look, I get it. Everybody wants to size down on, on a wing board, but you're not gonna get to a point to even enjoy the ride if you don't give yourself enough of an advantage with board volume as you get started. Okay, so after a little bit of conversation with this guy, I, I came to a point where I just, I asked him this question. I said, how quickly do you wanna become proficient at, at wingboarding, wing surfing, wing foiling, whatever you wanna call it, how quickly do you wanna become proficient at this? I said, do you wanna learn it in a week? Do you wanna learn it in a month? Or do you wanna learn it in a season? So of course there was a long pause on his end and he comes back and he says, well, yeah, I, you know, I'd, I'd kind of like to learn this in, in a week, you know? And I said, well, yeah, who wouldn't? I get it, we, we all are short on time. We want to get right to the business. But I said, if that's the case, dude, then, then you need to take a look at a board that is more appropriately sized for your volume, for your weight, I'm sorry. And I said, Let, let's take the 20% rule and go at about 105 liters or go 110, go 115, be safe. You're not gonna regret that. Having a little extra board volume, a little extra length is not gonna be a detriment to you until you become good enough to know better. Another thing we got to talking about, he, he was a surfer as well and I said, well, I know that, that you understand the surfboard mistake, the classic mistake that a lot of new surfers make. They want to go right out and grab the 5.8, the 5.10, the, the 6.0, because that's what, well, that's what the pros ride. That's what all the good, you know, uh, because that's what they see a lot of um, good surfers riding. And uh, so they want to run right out and, and go as small as they possibly can, where we know, all right, you should go longboard or fun board or hybrid then down to a fish and maybe over to your performance shortboard but um it's the classic mistake and so he kind of understood that as i was talking to him as as a surfer he, he picked up on it and knew what knew where i was going with it so again he took a long pause and thought through and said, all right let's i get it i get it and the the last point that i wanted to make was was look you gotta get over it all right, if you're here watching this video trying to decide what size wingboard you should get, you should go bigger than smaller, okay? Because if you're here asking for our help, then that means you don't know yet. You don't yet have enough experience to make that decision without a little outside help. And we're telling you, based on all the experiences that we've had and, and other videos you can watch on, on YouTube, other shops that you can call, they're gonna tell you a very similar story. Set yourself up with enough volume so that you can go have fun. Okay, we know you've got some questions for us, so please leave a comment below. Let's start the conversation. We're always happy to help.